Okay, so I've given up on the table. Um, it just takes too long to set up, really. So I'll save the table for taste tests and things like that. Um, we're, back, we're back on the chair, and it's been so hot weather recently that I thought I'd get some dead cheap beer. And this was really cheap from Tesco. Bottle of Sol. So I thought, you know what? Might as well review it. Might as well give it a review, see if it's any good. Sol. Um, well, we all know it. it's a standard Estaveta um, from somewhere it's from Mexico. I don't actually know where it's from, to be honest. Let's get a light on it. Well, it's brewed and bottled in the UK by Heineken, so there you go. That's all you need to know about it, really. So where it pretends to come from is completely irrelevant, to be fair. Here's a glass. Um, well, this was on Club Car Price in Tesco. It was 12 bottles for 8.50, so I thought, you know what? It's cool. It's refreshing. The weather's lovely. Let's get it poured out into it. Oh, good. <laughs> it's probably a bit of a head then, and it's just kind of gone crazy. Ooh. Oh, that's alright, it's okay. Hey, look at that. What a good job I did there. So, there you go. It's lovely, clear colour. Um, quite a light golden colour. It's, oh, I can, I can see through that. Look at that. Can you see my face through that? I don't know. Maybe you can. Um, let's put the bottle back. Nice see through bottle there. So, yeah, it's looking lovely and clear. It's looking a nice. Well, I don't know, a nice, a nice lagery colour there, yellowy, a little bit of orange in it. Let's get the nose. So, it's a little bit malty, the nose. There's not much of a nose there. I know these beers are quite are quite light, shall we say. I mean, what is it What is it on the ABV? Let's have a look. It is, um, it's a 330ml bottle, and we're talking 4.2% on the ABV there. So, it's quite light. It's quite... I wouldn't say it's particularly low alcohol, really, but yeah, we're getting mainly malt, a little bit of syrup. It's a little bit grassy. Um, let's, uh, let's have a taste. Cheers. Well, yeah, there's no flavour there at all. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's hard to. Yeah, it's a bit like fizzy water, really. It's hard to kind of pretend that there is a bit of a flavour. Um, yeah, a little bit, a little bit grassy, a little, maybe a little bit lemony. I'm really struggling to get anything from that, to be honest. Um, A little bit syrupy, a little bit grassy, possibly a little bit lemony. It's not giving a lot away at all. It's um, sure it's refreshing, but so is a can of, I don't know, a can of cream soda, really. Um, but a can of cream soda's not got as much alcohol in it, and it's not as bad for you. So I don't know. It's going down quite well. It's a bit gassy. Um, yeah, I mean it's. <laughs> Uh, what can I say about it? I mean, you know, I mean, I reviewed this not expecting a lot, to be honest, and I wasn't surprised, really. I wasn't uh, I wasn't disappointed, really, and I wasn't overwhelmed. Yeah, it's, it's very little flavour there. It's just, like, gassy, fizzy water, really. There's more smell to it than there is taste. I mean... What little taste there is is a bit like I used to when I was younger, many years ago. I used to like Rolling Rolling Rock. Now you can't get that anymore. But I remember that having a bit of a taste like this, but it was a lot stronger taste. You could actually taste it, and it was. Uh, and I remember, I remember liking it. It's quite a light, it's a nice light lager, a bit of light, sort of sli slightly sweeter, slightly more caramelly lager. But I've got to say this one has got the least amount of flavour of any, of any beer I've had within the last two years. <laughs> I would pretty much say it's, it is as close to water as you're going to get, really, for a beer. Um, there's nothing below a detail in the quality. So I'm have to, have, so for quality, I'm sorry, it's just water with a bit of colour added. So really quality, it's got to be D-. minus. There you go. Um, and as I say, I paid... I mean, really, generally, this comes on about pound a bottle, a bit less than a pound a bottle. Um, so a pound for a 330ml bottle, um, when you can get Monastere 
for one pound twenty five. I know it's a bit like chalk and cheese that, but you think about lagers, you can get way better lagers than this at the same price point. So value, value. I'm gonna give this one a D. It's not good value. It's rubbish. I wouldn't even pay twenty pence a bottle for this one. There it is, nice and basic. Basic beer review. Sign out. Have a good one.